see you guys. I'm a dad. It's important to let your kids choose their own path in life. Like, I'm a big sports fan. My son has been showing a real passion for acting, so I just signed him up for soccer. <laughs> I felt like a bad dad recently because I couldn't memorize any of my kids' friends' names. Like, if I get the first letter right, I take that as a victory. And what's up, Evan? My name's Ethan. Nailed it. <laughs> I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? My dad didn't know any of my friends' names growing up. I never faulted him for it. When I was in high school, if my dad respected you, he knew three facts about you, and that became your name. <laughs> well, hey, your buddy came by looking for you. Which one? Ah, tall kid's got an earring. Littlest for a year after his parents died. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's Josh. <laughs> you should probably know his name. You were his legal guardian for quite a while. <laughs> Whatever. Who you taking to that school dance? That redhead, nice rack, always takes your side in fights. Like, that's mom, this is getting super weird, right? <laughs> Should probably start learning who people are. <laughs> it's cool that he just took it with ease, though. I feel like most parents put too much pressure on themselves. They feel like they need to raise their kids to be the next great Olympian or the person who's going to cure cancer. That's not fair to you or the kid. Right? What you should do as a parent is make it your goal to raise your kids up into a decent human being who contributes positively to society, even if that just means he's kind to people. So don't raise the church, right? Like, look, man, it's really cool if your kid makes the NFL, but I'm way more impressed if I don't have to argue with him on Facebook 12 years from now, all right? <laughs> I got boys. I decided the least I can do is make sure they grow up to be men who know how to treat a woman correctly. Yeah. Been a lot of hashtags recently. <laughs> I took him with me to buy a birthday card for my wife. I was like, look, guys, when you love someone, you don't just pick out the first card you come to all willy-nilly because it's got a cute puppy on the front. You take your time. You read every single card. Until so you find the one that's got the words in it that speaks to your heart and says what you want to say to the person who means the most to you on this earth. Then you buy this blank card over here. You copy that card into this card. And you give that to her. Yes. It means a lot more if she thinks it's coming from you. You're probably going to screw it up. We already established you're not going to grow up to be very smart. Kids give you perspective, too. Like, I feel very blessed that this is my job. Like, I don't take it for granted for one second. It's just like every job. We have good days and bad days, ups and downs. Recently, I was in a little bit of a funk when it comes to, like, some of my career choices and everything. I just wanted to go take my family and go do something and try to forget about work. But you ever have one of those days where work just finds you, like you can't get away from it? Yeah. Well, I was on a hiking trail in this beautiful place, and I had to deal with a heckler. <laughs> <laughs> I could spot these douchebags from a mile away, right? We're having a nice morning. One of my sons gets hot, so he takes his little Chewbacca sweatshirt off, asks me to hold it for him. I didn't want to hike with it in my hand, so I put it up over my shoulders like a high school girl wearing her tiny boyfriend's letterman jacket, you know? And this dude coming the other way, I see his face all lit up like he's got something for me. And I'm like, oh man, I know that look, right? I'm trying to ignore him, but this dude gets right up next to me and punches me on the shoulder like we're old pals. He goes, hey buddy, looks like you bought that sweatshirt a few sizes too small, huh? He thought he was so funny. I could have just zinged him back. But not only encourages hecklers, right? Those types of people. He would go on doing this to people the rest of his life. Poor guy has got to sit next to him in the cubicle all day long, right? Poor waitress that drops a tray of drinks at a restaurant and everyone else feels bad for her because they're decent human beings. But he goes, Opa! <laughs> you 
You know the asshole I'm talking about, right? <laughs> well, I'm not proud of it, but I made a split-second decision to shoot to shut this dude down. I looked him in the face and I said, what? Oh, no, man, that's not my sweatshirt. That belongs to my son. He's been missing for two days now. It's the first clue we found. <laughs> if you could keep your eyes open as you're hiking today, we'd really appreciate that. <laughs> and this dude's face was like, oh no. <laughs> what have I done? I've finally gone too far. <laughs> and I immediately felt terrible. Because you should not kid around about something so terrible like that, you know? But I was like, you know what? My family's gonna give this lie away right away anyways. They always do. But I looked over and for the first time ever, they were completely on board. My kids were looking for clues in the bushes. Right? <laughs> He didn't want anything to do with us. He was just like, oh. And when he turned the corner at the switchback, we broke character and had a nice little family bonding moment at his expense. Like, can you believe that guy believed this one in any arrest? I thought that was gonna be my little moment to get me out of my funk, but it wasn't. Because my oldest son stopped laughing and got real serious. And I was like, oh man, he realized what we did was terrible. And shame is setting in. But it turns out it wasn't shame, it was pride. Because he looked up at me and said, man, that guy had no idea he was dealing with a famous comedian. <laughs> and that was my moment. Because I realized something in that moment, man. All this dumb stuff that was letting me get bummed out about work, like, you know, money and fame. Like, that's not what's important in life. That's what's important right there. It's tricking your kids into thinking you already have that stuff. Because <laughs> it felt so good. And it's so much easier than working hard. You know how easy it is to trick kids? <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much. My name is Dave Williams, and I'm a great life.